hey guys welcome back to next gen block and in this video i want to show you how you can do a rainbow transition in vstc free video editor now it's actually super easy to do a rainbow transition in vstc so without further delay let's get started and see how you can do this now to demonstrate this i've already imported two demo videos in the editor so this is my first demo video and this is my second demo video now obviously we are not going to create a rainbow in the editor all right so what we are going to do is we will download a green screen video from pixabay.com and this is the green screen video which you need to download so i will give the link of this video in the description box below you can download this video for free from pixabay.com now after you download this video what you need to do is you need to double click on your first demo video next you need to import the green screen video which you downloaded so go to add object and select video now select the video which you downloaded and then click on open and now click on ok all right so this is a green screen video so let me just quickly play this video for you all right now what we are going to do next is we will cut out the portion of the green screen video which we do not need so currently the total duration of my green screen video is six seconds but the transition itself is of the duration of somewhere around one second 700 milliseconds so there is a whole bunch of portion inside the green screen video which we do not need so we will cut out that portion so accordingly let me just place my markers so right about at one second 700 milliseconds my transition ends so i've placed my first marker at one second 700 milliseconds and i've placed my second marker right at the end now you need to simply click on this option which is cut out fragment perfect now place your green screen video right at the end of your first demo video now place your cursor right at the beginning of your green screen video and we will now go back to the main editing timeline and we will drag our second demo video below like this and we will place it right at that particular position in the timeline when our green screen video starts in the first demo video all right now next what we are going to do is we will resize our green screen video so that it fits the entire screen so right now as you can see this left portion and right portion of the screen is visible so we need to resize our green screen video so that it covers the entire screen so let me just first move the green screen video towards the left side like this and now let me let me just zoom out a little bit and now let me drag the green screen video from the bottom right hand side like this perfect all right now double click on your green screen video now we will use the background remover to remove the green color so go to video effects go to transparency select background remover and now click on ok now look inside the background remover settings which is present inside the properties window inside mode by yuv chroma key color is selected so that's fine inside chroma key color a particular shade of green is selected so what you need to do is you need to click on this pen icon which is present on the extreme right of the chroma key color option so click on this icon and now select the green color perfect and so now if i just quickly play the video for you all right now next what 
we are going to do is we will add a paint brush transition so go to video effects go to transitions select paint brush oops let me just cancel this and let me make sure that none of the objects are selected so that pop-up came because my green screen video is selected right now so let me just quickly make sure that nothing is selected and now once again let me just go to video effects go to transitions select paint brush and now click on ok all right now what you need to do next is you need to locate the exact moment when the rainbows appear fully on screen so first place your cursor right at the beginning of your green screen video like this and we will now move frame by frame to locate the exact frame when the rainbows appear fully on screen so you need to click on this particular button which says move cursor to next frame so let's move the cursor frame by frame to locate the frame when the rainbows appear fully on screen so as you can see the rainbows have already appeared but we need to locate the frame when the rainbows have appeared fully so in this particular frame the rainbows have crossed the screen if you look right here below on the bottom left hand side the screen is visible so I need to go back one frame and again a little screen is visible so let me just go back another frame all right so this is the frame where my rainbows have appeared fully on screen and right at this particular frame I need to place my paintbrush transition like this perfect now look inside the paintbrush effect settings which is present inside the properties window directly is set to false so that's fine inside transition levels currently the values are 0 semicolon 100 so that's fine as well inside stroke angle 45 degrees is there so that's fine inside starting corner currently left top is selected so you need to click on this drop down list and select left bottom inside brush width currently the value is 20% so delete this value and instead of 20 you need to write 5 and now press enter on the keyboard inside blur currently the value is 20% so delete this value and instead of 20 you need to write 0 and now press enter on the keyboard inside brush movement direction continuous is selected so that's fine inside overlap coefficient 0% is there so that's fine as well and so now if I just quickly play the video for you perfect so one final thing which we need to do is you need to click on this paint press transition press ctrl C to copy it and then press ctrl V to paste a duplicate now place this duplicate right after the first paint brush transition like this and make sure to increase its duration so that it kind of ends right when the green screen video ends all right now look inside the paint brush effect settings of the second paint brush transition which you just created you don't need to make any changes inside any of these options except inside this transition levels option where currently the values are 0 semicolon 100 so you need to delete these two values and instead of 0 semicolon 100 you need to write 100 and now press enter on the keyboard and that's it and so now if I just quickly play the video for you perfect so let me just play this video for you from the start so this is how you can do a rainbow transition in VSCC free video editor do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel i will again see you in the next video till then thanks for watching